I was a time I waited for this guy for almost an hour and no. he didn't show up. If these guys are done, they are done. A few people will find something really special and the rest of us are just vibing through like, I am not their per se cup of tea that yeah. they would like uh, to be interested in romantically. How would you describe the dating culture in the Netherlands? Now, I think it's easier a bit because you kind of find someone who is also looking for what you're looking for and you can be like extra specific. Like, I want this kind of relationship. I'm the best person to ask about dating. Okay. Because I think maybe because of my tastes, my requirements, my demand. It's mm. not in this country. Nigeria is all the way. But like, I think I'm just like the worst person to be honest. Okay. But I can talk from experiences I've had from like a couple of acquaintances. And I would say that I don't think I would test the fishes in this country. <laughs> because if these guys are done, they are done. It's not like we Africans that we still, you know, put in a little bit of tolerance spice, a little bit of endurance salt and all mm-hmm. of that. Like, these guys, they don't have no spice to spice things up. Like, if the flame is done, the flame is done. So for me, it puts me on a space of, like, scare and um, a place of um, isolation whereby I don't want to open myself up to this kind of, like, mentality or, like, this kind of feeling, to be very mm-hmm. honest. Because I think... Africans, we can say this, we are literally brought up in a space whereby we have to tolerate, we have to endure, we have to put in the effort to make it work. Yeah. Just don't give up like that. Like, if you give up, then you keep giving up a lot of things in life. You miss mm. out on a lot of things in life. Like, a lot of things that you could have built to, like, become a blossom fruit, then you just break it a lot. Like, you just break it at the very early. Compared to Nigeria, mm-hmm. in Nigeria, it was a little bit easier because... You could, you, you knew people, Mm. like, they're not strangers. There's always someone that knows someone that knows someone. Yeah. I think dating in general is hard. Definitely. Uh, A few people will find something really special and the rest of us are just vibing through life. (laughs) Like the past few years when I was in uni, like, you find someone and the person's like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in you, blah, blah, blah. You can text the group chat and say, have you guys ever heard of this person? Mm-hmm. Someone text someone else. Yeah. And that's like your own version of stalking. But here you have to put in the work and actually stalk them. It's hard okay. in both places. Okay. It takes efforts. Maybe a little bit easier in Nigeria because you have mutual friends. It feels like, it feels some, sometimes it feels like everybody ha- kind of has someone and mm. someone they've known for a while. They just clicked instantly with. So like I said, you do have to put in that extra work, which is fine, I guess. Yeah. Have you heard? Do you have any, uh, what I say? <laughs> I don't know. Worth is dating going? stories or do you have any lessons you've learned so far since you moved here from like uh, the dating culture in the Netherlands? I haven't been on a lot of dates since I moved. Well, it's not a date. It's not a worst date thing. It's just like, why was there not a date mm, type okay. of feeling or vibe or oh, whatever? Okay. So, um, we met on Tinder, mm. talked for a while. Never, like, picked a date or anything. Oh. Um, and then I saw him on King's Day, just randomly in the street. And he recognized me. And he's like, hey, you're Zainab, right? We met on Tinder. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> and then we ended up spending the whole day together. Oh. And it was very nice. And then I'm like, we're definitely going to go out. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we did not. Maybe we're just looking for different things. Or maybe he wants me to make the first move. Mm. And also is a chef, which is really nice. Oh. Okay. But I think we're kind of friends-ish now. Oh, it's so, oh my God. Mm. It's so complicated. But I, maybe that day was kind of like a friendship date as well. And it was really good. But I would say the reason why it's worse is because it didn't really like lead to anything and I would have liked it to. Mm. I think that it's common here in the, in the Netherlands for people to like want to expect people to make a first move especially from maybe foreigners or people who are not from this area. Um, do you want to feel I don't like using the word like chased. I, mm. I think it has very uh, crazy, silly demean, maybe not demeaning but I don't like the um, undertones for yeah. chase but 
I think people like to feel wanted. Yeah. I like to feel wanted. Generally, I think everybody likes that. Yeah. And sometimes it's a game of who's going to text a person, not text, but like who's going to ask the person out first. Yeah. That kind of thing. And, uh, maybe it gets annoying sometimes because like, Oh my God, ask me mm. out. Oh my God, ask me out. But yeah. I think okay. people just like to be wanted generally. Right. And if you want someone, tell them. Dutch dating culture, do you find it very challenging here? Dutch dating culture is, to me personally, challenging. I'm from the Caribbean, so my interests and things that I like to do, um, if we're talking like in the Dutch culture, is different because, yeah, in the Netherlands, is primarily uh, Caucasian-based, right? Yeah. Of course, you have people of different ethnicities and different cultures, but like navigating the dating scene can be different, especially like for me, I feel more comfortable expressing myself in English. Yeah. Even though uh, Dutch is my second language, like being in a partnership with someone, I wouldn't feel comfortable speaking Dutch 24 seven, even though ironically, my boyfriend at this moment, he's Dutch, but he, he speaks English fluently. So mm -hmm. we communicate in English all the time. Okay. So definitely in that aspect, for me personally, dating is hard because like, yeah, I can't express my love language the way you want to, want to in Dutch. Okay. Yeah. Are the kind of places you, or you probably almost likely meet a partner? Like where do you typically go on apps or what do you mean in person or? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um, for me, I would say like in real life situations, like going out and stuff like that. Um, for me, I personally find that more difficult even though if I go to things that I'm primarily interested in, um, it's hard to navigate. Like, for instance, I can give you an example. Like, during my time from university, that's why I came to the Netherlands okay. to study. Um, like, I would be the only black girl in a oh. class or there wouldn't be other people of color or even other black people. So, you know, based on European standards and whatnot, like, if you're in a university setting and you have a bunch of, like, guys or whatever. Well, yeah. I'm interested in men, so yeah. I'll just put that out there. So it's like I am not their per se cup of tea that yeah. they would like uh, to be interested in romantically. So at least for me, uh, during COVID, I tried something out of the box, did the dating app thing. And yeah, I was fortunate that I found someone that I clicked with who happens to be my boyfriend right now. Have you had any worse dating experience in like since you moved here? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what was the worst one? What happened? Um, I think this guy asked me out. He told me where we were going, what we were going to do. Yeah. So I came there. I was on time for the first time in my life. <laughs> I was on time. I waited for this guy for almost an hour and no. he didn't show up. He didn't show up. No. 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 He stood you up. How, yeah. How dare he? Yeah. Has he seen you? <laughs> Did he I see your know. pictures? I don't know, but it was... After that, I've, I haven't dated anyone else. No. No, because I'm scared people are going to steal me out. Like, oh, my God. No, yeah. no, no, no. That's, that's insane. Like, have you tried dating other cultures and races as well? <sighs> well, maybe I should be open to that. Mm. Maybe I should do that mm. because the black men aren't treating me right. <laughs> Not our black brothers putting us no, to shame. No, they're putting, yeah, they do. 